Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator? If we have 7 to the power of 6 minus 7 cubed and we write this algebraic expression into the lowest form uh, but here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. This means that uh, we need uh, to show all of the working here. Uh, so. The very first thing we are going to do is here first you need to focus into the exponent of first term and you have the exponent of first term is 6 uh, so we will just break this 6 as in this form this is 7 to the power of 3 plus 3 minus this is our 7 cubed and further in the next step uh, we need uh, to use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that uh, here we need to apply the exponential rule okay so we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n according to this rule of exponents uh, we just break this exponent as in this form 7 cubed multiplied by 7 cubed minus 7 cubed and in the next step uh, we need to take common 7 cubed from here so when we take common 7 cubed we get the remaining values are from here we get 7 cubed minus from here we get 1 and in the next step uh, we uh, need to first find uh, uh, the cube of this 7 uh, so uh, we know about that uh, the 7 cube uh, is equal to uh, so the meaning of 7 cube is that uh, we will just multiply 7 with 3 times so when we multiply 7 3 times it will be written as in this form and uh, in the next step you see here this is 7 times of 7 becomes 49 multiplied by 7 and here because calculator is not allowed in this problem so that's why we need to do all of these steps here so we multiply 7 with this 49 and it will be written as 7 9 just 63 we write 3 and carry 6 7 4 is 28 28 plus 6 becomes here 34 it means that the value of 7 to the power of 3 is equals to 343. So now we need to replace this value on both of these two places. So when we replace this value to the above places, our above expression is written as, so this expression will implies that now when we put this here it will become 343 into this is 7 cubed equals to 343 minus 1 and now you see here this will become 343 into uh, this is 343 minus 1 becomes here 342 so uh, here you see that these are the two bigger numbers and also calculator is not allowed in this problem so that here I can just give you uh, an other smartest techniques in which you can easily multiply any bigger numbers without using the calculator. So here I can explain um, this technique uh, towards the solution of this product okay. Uh, so here now first we need to focus on this term and now we break this term in to the form of hundreds uh, and tens and ones uh, so here we write we break this value as 300 plus 40 and plus this is over 2 and now here in the next step we have uh, we need to multiply this 343 on each of these values so it will be written as 343 is multiplied by 300 plus 343 is multiplied by 40 and 343 is multiplied by 2 so uh, further in the next step uh, you see here we have we need to multiply uh, all of these values so here first we need to multiply these two bigger numbers so that we consider this is one digit number this is our three digit numbers so here first we multiply 0 with this complete number you get here 0 because we know that when we multiply 0 with any number it is always equals to 0. 
Similarly, when we multiply this 0 with this number, you again get 0. And when we multiply this 3 with this number, you get here 3, 3 is a 9, 3, 4 is a 12. We write 2 and carry 1. 3, 3 is a 9, 9 plus 1 becomes here 10. Plus, uh, here in the same pattern, we multiply these two numbers. And again, we consider this is one digit number and this is our two digit number. So when we multiply 0 with this number, you get here 0. And when we multiply 4 with this number, you get here 4, 3 is a uh, 12. We write 2 and carry 1. 4, 4 is a 16. 16 plus 1 is 17. We write 7 and carry 1. 4, 3 is a 12. 12 plus 1 becomes 13. And plus here in the same pattern, we multiply 2 with this, num this number. So you get here 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 4 is a 8, and 2, 3 is a 6. So you get here 686. So these are the uh, product of bigger numbers. And now here in the next step, we need to sum up all of these values. So when we uh, sum up all of these values, then we move towards our final destination. And now you see here, this is 0 plus 0 plus 6 becomes 6. This 0 plus 2 becomes 2. 2 plus 8 becomes 10. We write 0 and carry 1. So this is 9 plus 1 is 16. 16 plus 6 becomes 22. 22 plus 1 becomes 23. We write 3 and carry 2. So again we have this is 2 plus 3 becomes 5, 5 plus 2 becomes 7 and 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and at the last we will get here this 1 only. So uh, here this is the, our final answer of this question and now here uh, we just uh, write our final simplified form of the given question is that uh, 7 to the power of 6 minus 7 to the power of 3 is equals to uh, double 1, 7, 3, 0, 6. So this is the final simplified form of the given question. And this is the final answer. Also, I hope so you like this method. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.